Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to uh, continue our validate class. We might be able to wrap it up this video. Um, we'll see how it goes. So um, what I want to do is we're going to add underneath this add error method we're going to add a couple more really quick uh, basically getters um, but they're going to be methods we're going to say errors um, and return this errors. Okay, so all this is going to do is grab this private uh, array and return it, and then um, we'll also do the same thing for past. So this is what we use. We're expecting a boolean here. Um, there we go. So that's easy. So now here in our register we have this if validation passed. Um, and then it'll jump in and do the uh, it'll actually check this stuff then if, if it passes okay so the next thing that we need to be able to do is we need to be able and this is actually the last thing in the side this method is we need to be able to display these errors so um, this is kind of going to be dependent upon um, bootstrap so you might if you're not going to use bootstrap you'll have to uh, figure out something else here um, but what I want to do is I'm just going to set HTML and I'm going to create a list, okay? So UL class is going to equal BG danger, okay? Then what I want to do is I'm going to say for each this errors has error and I'm going to check, um, so it should be an array, so what we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to concatenate onto our HTML uh, a list item, okay, so li class is going to equal to text danger, okay, and then close that, li tag, and then we're going to put the air, the first part of the um, array is going to be error zero so that'll be at the actual text uh, it'll be this part this first element will be the message the next is going to be the actual item which will be the uh, form input uh, is the next part of this so then what we can do is we're going to say um, we're going to add some JavaScript here Okay, just close those, and we're going to say uh, jQuery document dot ready. And that's going to be a function, an anonymous function here. Now this is looking a little crazy, but just follow along, and this will be pretty cool. Um, so here we need a break out of this and we're going to pass in our error 1 so that's how we're going to target this okay so that will target that so then we'll be able to do parent dot closest div dot add class has error okay and that is that okay and then after this for each we're just going to concatenate on our closing unordered list tag and then we're going to return HTML. So this is basically just going to build up a long HTML string. Um, it's going to have an owner order list with some uh, jQuery to add a class um, to our containing div. So let's see how we're going to use this. Um, 
inside of our view, let's go and open up our view. What we need to do is add a div um, right after the opening form tag here. We'll just add a div and we're going to give that a class equal to bg danger. Okay. And then we're going to echo out this display errors. Okay. So that's always going to be there. So what we need to do is in our action now is we need to set that. And the way that we're going to set that is uh, you go to the, uh, <laughs> excuse me. So right here, we're going to say, we're going to say this view display errors is equal to validation display errors. So let's check that and make sure I, yeah, let's make this camel case like that so that it matches with these others. I'm bad about kind of going back and forth, but we'll make it camel case there. Uh, so now if I refresh the page, if we haven't broken something and we have 96, yeah, we need a semicolon at the end of this. There we go. Um, you can see that nothing's really showing up, but if I go ahead and empty these out, if everything works correctly, and it didn't, uh, we don't have call to undefined method input sanitized. And that's because there's a D on that. So let's go now. That is in our validate.php line 12. So it shouldn't be a D there. Log in. Okay. Boom. Okay, so now we get these errors populated here. It says username is required, password is required, and then it highlighted those two red for me. That's what the JavaScript, uh, the jQuery part of this did down here. Um, this line here actually highlights these by putting in the has, and that's that is a, a bootstrap uh, class that gets added to the div. And so essentially what happens is it looks for this element, which was username, and then it looks for the closest parent div, which is here, and it adds the class has, uh, has error. So that's essentially what that JavaScript line does. Um, okay, so let's... Um, Try again. So let's leave the this and let's leave this. Okay, so username is required. You got rid of that and now that's there. So that's uh, the validate class so far seems to be working well. Let's test a few more things. Let's, um, just for fun, um, in the register, we're not going to keep this, but let's say the password. Uh, let's put a min of six characters on that. It's probably a good idea anyway. So we will leave it, I guess. And let's just put two here, maybe three. Okay, so now I hit that and it says password must be a minimum of six characters and it highlights it. So let's try to go ahead and give it over six and see if it works. Yep, works fine. Um, so, one thing that we want to do is we want to be able to add an error if the um, this isn't correct. And so there's the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use our add error. Let me see how we're at time. We're final time. So we're going to add use our add error uh, uh, method right here. And the way that that's going to work is in our register login action. If it passes, we're going to go ahead and do the login. If it doesn't pass, I'm going to add an else statement here, and we're going to do validation add error. So we can 
add a manual error here. Um, so we can say there is an error with your user name or password. Okay. Now the problem is, is well, I'm not going to pass this in array. So we need to go back and fix something in our display errors here. And that is going to be, if, if it is not an array, I just want to be able to pass text in there and throw that up on the screen. Okay, so we just need to wrap these things here in an if statement. We're going to say if is array error. And what we're going to do is grab all of this, put it inside that if statement. And then what we're going to do is say else HTML. And we're just going to add that list item. Okay. And the way that's going to look is. Uh, we'll give that a class of text danger and then we'll just go ahead and concatenate on the error okay so let's try that out now refresh here and so all right there's an error with the username or password let me put the right stuff in here log in and something broke oh <laughs> I put this else statement on the wrong if um, and that's not what I want to do this actually so let's get rid of all that that needs to go on on the else of this if statement here like that all right sorry about that hopefully this will work Okay, yeah. So I didn't finish the <laughs> check method up, first of all. So what we need to do is after the loop, we need to say if empty this errors, okay, then we're going to set this past equal to true all right and then what we're going to do is return this all right so go back to the register um let me get rid of my dump and die here because i think this is going to work now what i thought was going to work before okay there's an error with your username or password so let me fix those There we go. So if I actually type it in correctly, it logged me in and it sent me to the home page. So now we can use that validate class on any of our forms. Um, you'll see we'll do a more extensive um, validation on our registration form for registering new users. Um, and any other form that we have, we're going to have some sort of validation probably on that uh, form. So Although it kind of took us a little while to get through this validate class, um, you know, I think this is important. Also, I have modified this, but I do want to point out that this validate class, um, I did learn from Alex at uh, Code Academy um, several years ago. He had a course that I took when I was learning PHP, and I didn't intentionally like rip him off or anything, but I've been using this my entire um, career so far, and I have made quite a few changes to this and how it works um, maybe for the better maybe not but I just wanted to give a little props to him um, just so you know that I didn't I'm not the sole 
uh, creator of this uh, class here. Um, and just want to be forward about that. I'm not intentionally, again, ripping anyone off, but I have learned from some great people. And so I'm passing that knowledge along to you. Um, and so hopefully, you know, you're getting something out of this. And um, if you haven't checked out Alex, it's courses over at Code Academy, and you're a beginner, that is a great place to start. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a great time, and have a wonderful day.